Hey, I'm Tana from Tana's Treats, and today I'm here to show you another family favorite recipe. This recipe is all over the internet, but it came to us about over 30 years ago to our family. We had a death in our family, and one of our neighbors across the street brought this salad to our house. You know, I'm from the South, I'm in Arkansas, and we Southerners, when somebody is in trouble, we like to comfort with food. And so this is a comfort food. It is a good dish to take to a picnic, to take to a potluck, to take to a church potluck, to other people's funeral dinners or wakes. We've taken it everywhere. And the dish never comes back with any salad in it. It's always eaten. This is called just plainly spaghetti salad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish prepping my vegetables that I'm going to add. I'm going to do some celery. And I don't like big chunks of celery. In fact, I didn't like celery at all till I was older. And so I'm just going to slap it down the middle and chop it with my knife in small pieces. I'm gonna add this celery to our mixing bowl. Make sure you get all the pieces out. Set that to the side. And to that celery, I'm gonna add just a little salt and a little fresh cracked black pepper. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Next, we have green onions and I'm gonna chop them. I used the, the green part plus the white part. I've already cut the root end off and the top of the, the green onions. So all of this part is gonna go into our salad. I'm gonna add this to finish our onions. I should have brought a bench scraper to catch everything. Okay, we're gonna add our green onions to our celery. Set that aside. Add a little bit of salt to the onions, not a whole lot. And just one or two shakes of pepper. Then we can add our black olives that I've already drained these and sliced them ahead of time so we can just add them in. That's probably my favorite ingredient and if I don't add it in now, I'm gonna start eating them. So those olives we will not salt and pepper. Now the cucumber, cucumbers this time of year I couldn't find any smaller ones. So this is a very large one. This amount right here is one this size, so we're only gonna use about half of this. So I'm gonna take my Y peeler. My Y peeler is the only peeler I use for potatoes, cucumbers, anything that needs to be peeled. Just hold it like this and there you go. And it comes off perfectly every time. It is dishwasher safe. I recommend every kitchen have one of these peelers. And there we go. Since we're only gonna use about half of it, I'm only gonna peel about half. Get rid of that peeling. I'm gonna slice the end off. So I'm gonna cut it down, and then cut it down, and then half it down, and then half it down, and then half it down. And then add your cucumbers to the bowl. These I'm going to salt and pepper heavily because there's quite a few of them. Just about like that. Okay, as I said, these were grape tomatoes, but these are large grape tomatoes. I couldn't find any other different ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a serrated knife 
and cut them in quarters and then cut the quarters in half. And there we have perfectly chopped tomatoes. Okay, there's our tomatoes all sliced and diced, ready to add to the bowl. Add all of our tomatoes. That's a lot. And I'm gonna put up quite a bit of salt in these because tomatoes require it. And some pepper. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my drained pasta and I'm gonna put it back in the pan that I cooked it in to season it. Well, our water is finally up to boil and we're gonna take our pound or 16 ounces of thin spaghetti. My family and I like, we like thin spaghetti. You can use regular spaghetti, any spaghetti that you like, vermicelli, whatever. But because it's a salad, I'm gonna go against the rule and I'm gonna break my pasta in half and I'm gonna do it over a piece of paper towel so it doesn't go everywhere and it can be contained really well. It's kind of popping me everywhere. <laughs> So I'm just gonna add my pasta to my boiling salted water. I've already salted it. There is no oil in this. I know some people like to put oil. That is not what I do. I do not put oil in pasta at all. Uh-oh. Sometimes it goes everywhere. And all of that pasta is gonna bring that water a little cooler, cool it off, bring it back to temperature, give it a little stir, and set it for about six minutes. Set the timer for about six minutes and we will be right back. Okay, our timer just went off for our pasta, so I'm gonna check the spaghetti for doneness and see how it's going. Stir it, make sure it's all broken up. And I'm gonna take a couple strands, drop it. I'm gonna take one and test it. All right, our spaghetti is finished. I'm gonna turn the burner off and I'm gonna take it to the sink and drain it in a colander and just pour it in. <laughs> now this spaghetti is good just like it is. When we drain pasta, we don't wanna rinse it, but because I'm making a salad, I'm gonna rinse it. And I'm gonna shake all that water out. And I'm gonna let it sit for just a second to, to drain. And then I'm gonna put it back in the same pot and season just the spaghetti. So this pan's still a little warm, not much. I'm gonna add this spaghetti. It's not stuck together because I rinsed it in cold water. And so to this spaghetti, I'm gonna take four tablespoons, no, four teaspoons of Salad Supreme. So what I'm really gonna do is use a tablespoon and a teaspoon. One tablespoon is equal to three teaspoons. So I'm just gonna take a tablespoon, dip it in. Pretty good heaping tablespoon. 
and then a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. And you can see all of that seasoning going in. I am going to put a little bit more salt in and some pepper. And to this, I'm gonna add one 15 ounce bottle of Italian dressing, wishbone brand. May take a few minutes, a few seconds. And I'm just gonna spread that all in there. When I say the whole bottle, I mean it. The whole bottle. And I'm gonna stir all of this up. That spaghetti is gonna drink a lot of that dressing. And that's okay. That's why we have two. Now, while that's marinating, I'm gonna bring this bowl of vegetables back to me. I'm gonna wash my hands one more time. Okay, now with my clean hands, I'm gonna use my hands to mix these vegetables. Yes, I could use a spoon. Yes, I could use tongs, but God gave us these for a reason. And I'm just going to go right in and mix them up. How beautiful is that? It's like a rainbow of colors. You could add bell peppers of any color, red, yellow, orange, green. We don't like bell peppers, so we leave them out completely. And once these are mixed together, look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna rinse my hands. And I'm gonna take my Pasta. I don't think I need that anymore. I'm going to add my vegetables to my spaghetti. Because I can't hold it. And I'm gonna take my second bottle of dressing. Shake it up really well, because they're at room temperature. I didn't refri refrigerate them. And add that to the vegetables. And kind of stir the vegetables on top. And then we're gonna go down and mix both the spaghetti with the vegetables. Look how that mixes up right there. I think I'm gonna get some tongs to help that along. Get rid of that spoon for a second. The tongs if I can. And there we have our family version of the spaghetti salad. Cover this, put this in the refrigerator for several hours or overnight. The longer it sits in the refrigerator, the better it will be. It will be good in a couple hours, but it will be better tomorrow. So don't forget to subscribe to my page, Tana's Treats on YouTube. Like and share with your friends. And if you see anything you like or something that maybe we can do different, comment and, and let us know and maybe you'll see something on the next video. We love you. See you later. Bye.
Well, I could not put this in the refrigerator and wait hours. I wanted to taste it now, and I want you to see what it looks like on a beautiful plate, ready for a side of barbecued ribs, or a side for your hamburger, or anything that you like. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of spaghetti, get some of these veggies on here. This would be good for a vegetarian, even though there is Romano cheese, if you eat cheese, that's in that salad supreme. If not, you could use other seasonings, but here we go. It's good right now. 